Hey y'all, I am back with week five of the She's Crafty mini paper pad class and here is the layout and I have to admit when I first saw this layout and I saw these three by four photos here, I could not get cut apart cards out of my head. Um, no matter how I try to think about it, I just said I want to use cut apart cards here instead of six by six uh, papers so how was I going to get around that so I thought about it for a little bit and I came up with an idea which I will show you in just a minute so for this layout I use simple stories vintage blessing line plus some uh, cut aparts from another line that is Simple Stories, and I don't know the name of it, but it was a fall line, and this came out of a um, 12 by 12 paper pad that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby, which I mentioned before, that was like a best of, and they're just, were single-sided sheets, but um, my main focus was this Vintage Blessings, which has kind of a fall type feel to it, which uh, the photo I chose was from around Thanksgiving, well at Thanksgiving a few years back. So this is from 2017 and it's a 6x8 paper pad. And then I also had some of their 12x12 uh, 12 12 sheets from a warehouse box sale and I'm pretty sure that's where that 6x8 pad come from. So. Let's go to my layout. Here is my finished layout. And as you can see for my background, I started out with a piece of colored cardstock. And then I took four sheets of the 6x8 paper pad and cut them down to 5.5 by 5.5 and, and made my own background using the four sheets. So I went with a light here diagonal and then dark darker colors here on a diagonal and that is how I utilized my smaller paper pads so I was pretty happy when I came up with that idea that way I could uh, not only use my paper mini paper pads I could use some three by four cut aparts because we all have a lot of them because if you buy a collection they're pretty much in every collection that you buy you get like two different Two different sizes of uh, cut aparts so um, I just used one photograph and matted it on a green and then I surrounded my photo with the cut apart cards and then I made a tag using this uh, paper right here and outlined it with the same cardstock as my background cardstock and then just punched a hole, add a little reinforcer, um, and added some jute to, to tie off my tag. This was also out of a cut apart, this heart. And I just, um, just so I wouldn't get lost on all the different colored pattern papers. And the same with this one. You know, if you don't want to kind of lose a pattern on top of a pattern, just out, you know, outline it with some, a solid piece of cardstock that kind of makes it uh, stand out and distinguish it from what is beneath it. And then for my title, I use thankful and I added some, a little bit of stitching in each of these two corners here, just for some texture to the page. And then I'm going to do my journaling right here. And like I said, this was a Thanksgiving. And I'm probably going to journal about how for the past quite a few years we've hosted Thanksgiving at our house. And with uh, both sides of the family and, and boyfriends and girlfriends, we have usually, give or take, around 30 people at the house. And uh, my husband will... Uh, deep fry the turkeys I'll make a bunch of side dishes and then everybody brings a dish we always have a ton of food and people get to have enough left over that they get to take a plate home with them so um, that's what's going to go in my journaling right here so 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.